Hello everyone, hope you are doing well with trading. Today we are going to look at some very interesting cryptocurrencies. I will, I will begin with Bitcoin at first. We have a very good news that uh, was shared from Bloomberg some hours ago. As we can see, the world's first ATP betting on both Bitcoin and gold is here. So you can read this article. This is supporting a lot gold and Bitcoin together because they are going to be combined as a type of uh, hedge against inflation. On the uh, Bloomberg page, I'll place the link on the comment section below. You can click the list and then it is very interesting article. So this can uh, give a hand to Bitcoin during the coming days probably. And let's go with the technical perspective as well. As we can see, Bitcoin is getting one of the hottest topics uh, during the last days because uh, we are uh, hearing many speculations in the market that Bitcoin is going to move lower from the point where it is now by confirming the flag that we are actually looking at here. However, we don't have to anticipate that movement right now. We are, as uh, we have seen in the previous situation, resistance from above and support from below. And we have this type of uh, flag pattern that can develop right now. So let's break it down very fast. On the four hour chart that we have this pattern, this is a scenario that we have discussed also during the previous time. The probability is that we can see this type of development, a type of double zigzag. The price la labels that I have placed in red, they are from the previous analysis. We can see that they are holding the price very strong. Uh, the resistance, the support area that I was expecting was uh, between uh, 35.5k and 38.5k. So it came up approximately up to 37.8 and probably it can be also considered as a completed point here even if it doesn't come up to a lower part of the structure and it should continue higher from this point for the Z wave. This is the Z wave that we are anticipating at this moment. If we go on a lower time frame we will see that the price is contracting at this point, look at the waves, how they are behaving here. They are making up and downs. We will see that also many other currencies are doing the same. And overall, we are in a type of wedge pattern at this moment. Look at the wedge. Also on the 4 hour, we are having a price contraction. Once the price will jump above this wedge pattern, it should continue moving higher and the prices that I have placed here on the chart that are in black ones, those are the targets that you can actually use for Bitcoin. Those are very interesting targets. A breakout of this wedge will confirm definitely the bullish movement. This is the wedge that is contracting. So we can expect also the price to reach the upper part of the resistance to come down and after that it can move higher. So this is for the bullish scenario. If you want to be aggressive, you can you can buy or probably you bought before at this point. So just be careful with this type of scenario because you need to know what to do if you bought it here. With futures, it's not a big problem if you know your risk. With spot, you need to know what can happen after that. So let's suppose that the price can move lower. What can happen for the bearish scenario? The first thing that we can anticipate is that the price at this moment where it is now, it is it can come below the uh, flag pattern. And after that, it is going to test this support area. This is very strong. It was tested also before and it is holding up the price very well. So it comes within 32 and 30K. It's a uh, normal uh, price support area if the price will come there. So this is for the bearish scenario. The bullish scenario is still building up. So we can't anticipate the bearish one as long as it is, it is, uh, the price is not confirming the bearish scenario. The bearish will be confirmed only on the breakdown of the channel. After that, we can suppose that probably we are going to see the price moving lower. 
let's go with the next one the next one is ethereum we are having the price build it up in this scenario we have a harmonic pattern that is holding the price higher and now we are watching uh, this type of leg or a channel if this will be confirmed as a flag pattern the same as in a uh, bitcoin it can move the price lower up to the support area again so this is the strongest one 1800 but we can also see the price as a maximum to test 2.2 2200 because the price was stopped there also in the past at this point let's go what is happening uh, right now because the price is not so aggressive as we can see on this movement so let's break it down on the lower time frame on the lower time frame we are having almost the same price development look at how the price is contracting here as well so same wedge pattern this is a lose in the uh, bullish moment in the bearish momentum so once the price will jump above this pattern it should continue moving higher again so this is the the bullish scenario and it will confirm on the breakout of uh, approximately at this point 3050 look at the scenario how beautiful is this movement we are having this movement here so let's see if the bullish momentum will increase actually another one very interesting that the market is actually falling is a on the four hour it looks very good if you can see here what I'm actually looking at is this type of movement that it can happen a five wave movement that it can be impulsive or corrective it doesn't matter for us for the moment I will break down this part on, on the one hour time frame because it is looking very interesting we are having a wedge pattern right at this moment this is for eight price can continue within this pattern that is one scenario it can move higher from this point or probably we are going to see the price moving lower once this is going to breakdown of uh, the wedge pattern so let's say at this price area it can continue moving lower with minimum targets that are the structure areas here these are the minimum movements you can take this very well with future contracts just manage your risk it's a it's a very good scenario for the sell setup if the price is going to move down this is for a another one is cardano this is creating a type of uh, falling wedge pattern again it is very very beautiful how the price is contracting at this point look at the price that this is losing momentum again so we just need to see the price moving above the wedge pattern before the price confirms the bullish momentum until that moment it can also continue moving lower so we cannot rule out the possibility all the time and also if we increase the time frame if we go on the daily time frame we will see that we have structure from the left side we have structure that it comes from uh, March as I see February March here so probably this can push the price up again this is a mass that the price should hold here so also if the price will try to test the lower part of the wedge pattern in this way definitely the bullish movement should be like that the targets that you may use here 
are these targets this is a very solid target here so definitely you must take profits at 0 0.96 and you can use some other targets higher and the top for those of you that want to hold it for a longer time period this is a scenario for Cardano and also XML, XLM, Stellar we have a beautiful pattern combination on Stellar, I really like it look at how the price is actually developing we are having this type of wedge pattern it's very big on one side and on the other side we can see this horizontal structure at 0 0.17 that is holding the price higher so what we can actually do here is that we can buy it's a very good buy uh, scenario and place as well this support should hold Stellar is very good crypto and the first area that I would really like to target for Stellar because it has the potential to move that high is the top of the structure that it comes as a minimum of 31-32% price increase so this is huge, I really like it even if it comes lower it's not a big uh, deal as I see and the other targets are above you can also add targets close to this structure because this is also essential here and it looks perfect in this way so you can look at also Stellar uh, and the last one is Luna Luna is creating uh, let's go on the 4 hour time frame is creating this type of uh, bullish pattern this type of bullish flag it can be bullish flag or probably it can move lower we will watch it in, in two different perspectives let's say that the price will move higher if it moves higher it should move above the flag and after that we can anticipate the bullish movement because the volume will increase a lot after that point in this situation here so the price will definitely will try to test the top if the price is going to break from this structure that we are here I see the price to test the low of the pattern so after that we can see the retest of the low so let's say from the breakdown of 86.7 it will come at 76.8 so this is the scenario that we can trade on Luna it's very interesting on the bearish side we are anticipating an 11% movement down on the upper side you can buy from the point where it is now it is a bit risky if you are going to buy right now you should target the first uh, line that is uh, the top of the structure this can be done also with future margin contracts but risk small on this uh, scenario 8% increase and the next one is for the top so overall if this is going to move bullish from this point it comes as 30% increase so hope you enjoyed this analysis and I wish you a very good day. See you on the next video. Bye bye.